<clears throat> Amen. Glory be to God. This is Vanless Jesse Green with Sound Doctrine Ministries. Amen. Glory to God. I will be continuing the book of Isaiah, the 58th chapter of the book of Isaiah with my morning discussion. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. Isaiah 58 and 14. Amen. God, this deep portion. Amen. This is the last portion of verse of scripture. Amen. Where I will be showing, I will, I will, I will be sharing with you. Then I'll be going to the 59th chapter. Glory to God. It's getting deep and it's getting good in the word of the Lord. Amen. Glory to God. Let us pray. Oh, Heavenly Father, I thank you for your word, your will, and your way. Lord God, I ask you to speak your word of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. That it be a blessing to the hearts of the people of God. In Jesus' name I pray. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Amen. God bless you, God's people. Let's go into the word of the Lord. Isaiah 58 and 14, that bottom portion, which I call the D portion, it says, For the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. What God has spoken, it shall come to pass. Whether you believe it or not, or I believe it or not, what God has spoken, it shall come to pass. Amen. How God is going to deal with this earth and this world, how he is God and reign and rule and sovereign in the earth. He has spoken. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. How he has let things trans transpire in this earth. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Let you know that he is sorry regardless. Sin is going to run its course. But God has spoken a word of deliverance. Amen. A word. Amen. Glory to God that will bring forth judgment. God has spoken many things. And if he's spoken it, it shall come to pass. He's spoken a lot of things from Genesis to Revelation that we have in the word of God. Hallelujah. So the mouth of the Lord has spoken in it. That's the title of this message. The mouth of the Lord has spoken it. Let's go to Amen. Isaiah 1 and 9. Isaiah 1 and 9. Hallelujah. Let's go to that, that, that verse. Amen. I might have to do 30 minute segments of this message because this message is really deep. Because because people don't realize when God speak his word, when God's word is spoken, amen, glory to God, hallelujah, hallelujah, whether it's a rhema word or a logos word, whenever God speak his word, his word shall come to pass, glory to God, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, he's not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man, that he should repent, have he said and shall he not do it, has he spoken and, he sh and shall he not make it good, glory be to God, God is speaking his word and God going to make his word good. Good. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So we need to wake up and realize that God has spoken and he's spoken in the text. Glory to God. Let's go to Isaiah 1 and the ninth verse. Amen. This is a call to repentance to God's people who are caught up. Amen. In these things, it says, amen. Isaiah 1 and 10. Hear the word of the Lord, you rulers of Sodom. Give ear unto the law of our God, our God. Now, we're talking about God's people, not Sodom and Gomorrah, but God's people are caught up in sodomy. Amen. It's a hear the word of the Lord, you rulers of Sodom. God's people, the rulers have become like Solomon, like a lot of these churches. Glory to God, how who worshiping are bowing down to sodomy. Glory to God, all illicit sexual acts. Hear the word of the Lord, ye rulers of Sodom. Give ear unto the law of our God. See, he's not talking to Sodom. He's talking to people that know the true and the living God. Our God, the rulers are like Solomon. They're ruling up like Sodom. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Ye peoples of Gomorrah. Amen. Glory to God. God's people has become like Sodom and Gomorrah. And you know most churches you go to, glory to God, hallelujah, that's why they spew out all this stuff on the television. That's why they spew all this stuff on the network, all, all, all the music. That's why they spew all this stuff on the YouTube, on the internet. Glory to God. So it can, be, it can become normal, not only to the world, but God's people. So all illicit sexual acts, 
glory to God, of God's people, it has become normal to them. And God said, you are rulers of Solomon. You're Solomon. You are rulers of Gomorrah. Glory to God. It shouldn't be the norm. Not a whole, not to God's people. Amen. Our God, the law of our God. It said, give ear unto the law of our God. Not the laws of Solomon. Not the laws of Gomorrah. That's why he said, hear the word of the Lord, ye rulers. The rulers have become like Sodom and the people of Gomorrah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You go in a lot of these places and that's what it is. Glory to God. I'm not saying we hate on the people, God. Amen. We hate on what is going on, uh, uh, the sin of the act, but we got to convict the hearts of sin. We got to let the people know this is not the will of the Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. How could God's people become as Sodom and Gomorrah? And he said, that's why we need to take, take heed or give an ear. Some people don't shut their ears up from hearing the truth. Some people don't want to hear the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. The of our God. They want to continue as rulers of sodomy and rulers and a people of Gomorrah. That is not the way God's people are supposed to live or dwell. All illicit sexual acts, we know homosexuality is the biggest, amen, blasphemy against the creation of man and woman, a male and female. Glory to God, hallelujah. So God is saying it's time for you to give ear to hear the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Listen to what it says in 11 verse. It went... It, to, never, to what purpose is my multitude? Or what to what purpose is the multitude of your sacrifices unto me? Says the Lord, I am full of the burnt offerings of rams and the fat of the, the, the and the fat of the fed beasts. I delight not in the blood of bullocks or the lambs of or the lambs or, or of he goats. Glory to God. Glory to God. See, God said, I'm tired of all your sacrifices. Amen. Glory to God. You bring in all these sacrifices to God. But you're still practicing sodomy. You're still practicing and acting like Gomorrah. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You're still dimly and dabbling in the all sinful, lustful, sinful acts. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. But God said it's time to hear the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And God said, I'm full of what is the multitude of your sacrifices. See, they don't care. They bring, they give the pastors money, the rulers the money. They give them the money. They give them the increase. They bring all these sacrifices of their time and their service. They're faithful in the church. But God said, you have become like Sodom and Gomorrah, the rulers and like the people of Gomorrah. He says, time to hear the word of like, give ear unto the law of our God. God do not care about the sacrifices. He don't care what you bring it to him. He said, he said, that's what he said. To what purpose is the multitude of your sacrifices unto me? What is the purpose? What is the purpose of our, us bringing sacrifice unto God when we, when we indulge in sodomy and acting like the people of Gomorrah? We get drunken, all illicit sexual acts, orgy, fornication, adultery, but we bring in all our sacrifices of our time, all our money. Amen. We give it unto God. Amen. And God said, what is the multitude of this? Obedience is better than a sacrifice. Hallelujah. It's time for God's people to wake up and hear the word of the Lord. Glory be to God. How, let's read a little bit more here. Glory to God. When you come to a prayer before me, who has required this at your hand to tread my courts or to trample my courts? When you come, amen, to the sanctuary, when you come to a prayer before him, you come before the altar of, a God, of our God, who required that you at your hand to tread my courts or to trample my courts in the way that you are trampling in the house of God? So many churches, Lord God, so many rulers, Lord God, so many people like Gomorrah, amen, the rulers like Sodomy. Glory be to God. And God had given God all these multitude of sacrifices. God said, you can't bring me all these sacrifices and don't obey me. Who has required you to tread my courts? If you're going to 
come tread my courts. You got what the Bible say? Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and praise upon thy lips. It say, keep your foot when you come into the house of the Lord. Be mindful of how you come in the Lord. If you come into the house of God, if you're going to tread his court, you should be coming to be delivered. You should be coming to meet God that he can cleanse, he can wash, he can purge you. You can be set free from the bondage of sin. Especially Sodom and Gomorrah, because that's one of the sins that he called. He came down and destroyed it for. Even Lot was in the city, a ruler in the gates. He just has become a Sodom because he hadn't said anything. He wasn't doing the acts, but glory to God, he he he, he was there perpetuating it. Perpetuating. He, in other words, he was there ruling in the gate, but he didn't speak against it. Hallelujah. So when he went to minister to the people and tell them the, 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 the destruction is coming, they didn't want to hear nothing. He, he was paid. He was a howling. Yes, he was a righteous God. Yes, it's grieved his spirit. But he was a magistrate. He was a ruler in the kingdom or in the magistrate of Solomon. So the angels had to come and get and, and drag them out and, and bring them out, take them out. They were so entrenched in the things that they was enjoying on Sodom and Gomorrah. Hallelujah. But God said, don't tread upon my courts. Who require you to tread upon my courts in a condition or the situation that you are in? It's time to hear the word of our Lord. Give ear to the law of God. It's time to wake up, people. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. When you come to a prayer from me, who has required at this at, at required this at your hand, at your hand, to tread or trample my courts? Bring no more vain obligation and incense or an abomination. Don't bring me no more vain obligations. Remember, no grain offerings and all these things. God, amen. They are fruitful sacrifices unto him. They are vain now. Because you got to deal with sin. We got to deal with the wickedness in the land. Hallelujah. First of all, glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Come here, Jeremiah. Come here. Oh, let me do Hold on. Let me do something real quick. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Sorry about that. I wanted to grab this. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let's read on here. It said, bring no more vain obligation. Incense is abomination unto the Lord. They were to burn incense as a sweet-smelling Savior. If we don't deal with our wickedness, we don't deal with our sin. May we come in the courts of God we tread. Who require you tread in his courts according to how you treading or trampling upon his court. That's why the Bible said don't trample the blood of Christ under your feet. Hallelujah. And many people are traveling the blood of Christ, his sacrifice, his death, his burial, his resurrection. And nobody is speaking out about it. And the rulers are becoming solid. And people like Gomorrah can become wicked. And we bring God all these off like it's going to appease God. You can't appease God. God going to hold with be required at your hand. When you come in his court, when you tread up his who has required you at your hand to tread upon his court, bring no more vain obligations unto me. The new moons and the Sabbath, the calling of assemblies. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I cannot away with it. He said, I cannot do away. Get it away from me. Until we deal with our wickedness, our sin. We talk about God's people that's caught up in this. Listen, glory to God. And it is iniquity, even thy Solomon meetings. We set aside a Solomon meeting, a holy meeting, a function or a sanction before the God. Solomon peace, a glory to God unto God, a solemn holy meeting unto the Lord. He said, glory to God, it is a, a way with it is iniquity, even your solemn meetings. Even your holy meetings, you call it holy. But you still haven't dealt with your sin and the wickedness, the rulers and the people. It's time to hear the word of the Lord. So when you tread his court, he can require you to tread his court or to trample upon his court in honor, in glory, in praise, 
and deliverance. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So your new moons, they were the set that in the new moon, all the feasts of the new moons and Sabbath days, glory to God, and appointed feast, my soul hated. God got to the point where he hated all the sacrifices. He hated all the assemblies. He said, all this are the incenses that you burn that supposed to be in the temple was a sweet smelling savior. See, we live a righteous life and we're supposed to be a sweet smelling savior. But we willing in, we living in sin. Sin is a stink in the nostril of God. So we like the burning incense, how we live our life. If you live your life as a Christian in sodomy and wickedness, as Sodom and Gomorrah, glory to God, the rulers and the people living the same, because the people are going to follow rulers that they want, who they put in place. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Your moons and your appointed feasts, my soul hateth. They are a trouble unto me. I am weary to bear them. God said, I'm weary to bear them. They are a trouble to me. All your, your, all your assemblies. I cannot do it. I'm tired of all these assemblies. Everybody got the assemblies of God, church of God in Christ, of Baptist, this, this and that, and whatever your assembly is. If you are practicing these things, if the rulers are practicing these things, and the people is acting like Gomorrah, he, he said, I don't care about your sacrifices, your offering, what you bring to me. I don't care about your solemn your meetings, amen, your holy uh, convocations, or whatever you call your solemn meeting. I don't care about none of your assemblies. They're abominations. Amen. All these things are vain obligation. They're fruitile. They're worthless. You are, you are obligating these things unto God, but they're vain unto him. He does not care. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. The moon, the Sabbath, the calling of a sinner cannot away with. Get it away from God. Say, get it away from me. It is iniquity, even the solemn meetings. Holy convocation, you know they have a lot of those, but they still practice in sodomy. The rulers and the people acting like Sodom and Gomorrah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Your new moons and the your new moons, your your and your appointed feast, my soul hated. Your appointed feast, your appointed plan where you want to worship and feast before the Lord. Glory to God. He said, I, my soul hate this. They are a trouble unto me. I am weary to bear them. God said, I hate it. I despise it. He says people, but he says the acts of his people. God has a trouble to him. He said, I can't bear it no more. So God going to start shutting down a lot of things and dealing with these issues. 15 verse, and when he and, and when you spread forth your hands, or when you pray, come on now. We can't even pray and get an answer through. Because of the wickedness in the people's heart. We can't, we can't even bow down and pray before God. When we spread our hands, we bring our hands together. We pray before the Lord. We can't even get a prayer through. And you wonder why we are living defeated lives. And Satan got a, 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 a sling around our neck. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. This 15 verse, and when you spread forth your hands, I will hide my eyes from you. Listen to that. When you bring your hands together to pray, God said, I'm going to hide my eyes from you. I don't even see you. So your prayers are nothing. Your prayers don't even, God don't see your prayers, don't hear your prayers, don't acknowledge your prayers. Yeah, but I pray, yeah, but deal with the sin. It's time to give ear to the law of our Lord. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And you got to hit hard like this because many people just go on in it. We got to convict the hearts of sin. So I know they see this message, go ahead. But it's still in the spiritual realm. It's still going forth. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It says, glory to God. It says, when you, when you spread forth your hands, spread forth your hands or you pray, I hide my eyes from you. Yea, when you make your many prayers, I will not hear your, your, your hands are full of bloodshed. We know that we've shed a lot of blood. 
The people of God are shedding a lot of innocent blood. They come in adultery, fornication, they murder, they killing one another, they practice sodomy, they're aborting their babies, they doing all. You know, women get pregnant and they abort the children, and they don't want the children because a man don't want them. Amen. They don't want to uphold their responsibilities. They walking in sin. They doing. They killing the innocent bystander. They angry and they bitter at other people because when you live like Sodom and Gomorrah, you drinking, you partying, you kicking it, you you, you having sex with anybody and everybody. You can grab a hold to. Amen. You don't cut long. Somebody don't come again. If anybody come against you, you want to kill them spiritually and physically. It's a lot of bloodshed that's going on in the body of Christ. So when you when you pray multiple prayers, God is saying, "I don't hear your prayers." Hallelujah! Listen to this again. When you spread forth your hands, I will hide my eyes. When and yea, when you make many prayers, I will not hear many prayers. God said, I ain't gonna even hear it. Your hands are full of bloodshed. Well, I don't know how long it will take me to get to this message. I'm gonna try to get down here where God, God has spoken. Wash ye, make you clean. Listen to what he said. Put away the evil of your doing from before mine eye. Cease to do evil. Wash you, make you clean. Wash. How we are washed? Through the washing and the water of the word. That's how we are made clean. We can't clean ourselves. We got to let the Holy Ghost convict our heart of sin, purge us, amen, and glory to God, and, 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 and purge us and, 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 and define us, glory to God, and cleanse us and wash us. Hallelujah. That's how we be washed, through the word of God, through the washing in the water of the word. But people won't hear. Don't want to hear the word of God. They want to commit, commit, continue as Sodom and Gomorrah, the rulers and the peoples. So God said, I don't hear nothing you saying. I don't even hear your prayers. I don't even accept your offering. What, why are you coming in the church? Why, who required you to, to tread my courts? You might as well just stop coming to church, in other words. Until you deal with your sin. Because it's out of, away with all your sinless. Hallelujah. That's bad to say for the church folks. But it's true. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Wash you, make you clean, and put away the evil of your doing. From before my eyes cease to do evil. Wash yourself through the washing and the water of the word. Start reading the word. Start meditating on the word. Start going to God, being cleansed from your evil doing. Lisa, from your evil doings. Amen. Be, 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 before mine eyes, God see everything. People think God is silent and it's the church is going on. That like God don't see nothing. God see everything. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, me. Cease to do evil. We got to cease to do evil. We're not saying those that are fallen in sin that are mature, but these are people that have been in the church for years. They don't they don't sold out for these sinful acts and wicked deeds. Listen, let's read on. It says, 17, learn to do well, seek judgment or justice. Relieve the oppressed, judge the fatherless, or vindicate or defend the fatherless, plead for the widows. Widows and fathers are suffering. People are being oppressed. There's no relief. Hallelujah. We tend for, we attend, do well and seek judgment, justice. Not in our own strength. Not in a rally with the world. Get on your knees and you pray. And you seek the Lord. Lord, tell me how to do. First, let me clean myself up. Let me be delivered myself. Hallelujah. Let me be acceptable. Let me put away my evil. But we want to protest and do all these things. A lot of corruption is in our heart. We haven't dealt with our sin. And anyways, if we do it, we're going to do it and by the leading and guidance of God, how he said do it. Not just get out there with the worldly folks and just blend in with them. We do things according to his word and according to his will. Hallelujah. Learn to do well, seek judgment, and relieve the oppressed. Judge the fathers, plead for the widow. Come now and let us reason together, says the Lord. Now listen to this. 
Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be made white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. God said, now come let us reason together. See, God don't care how deep a sin you in. You might be in sodomy. You might be, the, the, the rulers might be doing sodomy. The people might be living like Gomorrah. But God said, come let us reason together. That's how God wants us to do. Come reason together with him. About our sin, about our waywardness, about our lifestyle, how we live it, how we are offering up to him, how we coming, how we treading on his courts, how we doing our assemblies, how we don't have, we need to be clean and washed. Come to the Lord. He said, come let us reason together. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I guess come let us reason together. Though your sins be red as scarlet, God don't care how deep your sins are. He said they shall be made white as wool. Hallelujah, white as snow. And they shall be, even though they shall be red like chrism, they shall be, be as wool. You know, wool is white. But you got to come and reason with God. You got to want to be washed and clean. You got to want to put away the evil of your doing. From his eyes, you got to cease to do evil. Then after you realize that, come to the Lord and reason, let us reason together. Says the Lord, though your sins be as scarlet. Scarlet is a deep red that comes from a scarlet worm. They shall be as white as snow, though they be red like crimson. Crimson dye. They shall be as wood. If you did, then listen to this. Now, if you don't want to reason with God, listen to what he said. He said, come, let's talk about this situation. Come, let us deal with this sin, this wickedness in the hearts of my people. They won't want to take heed to the word of God. Hallelujah. If you be willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. You shall be blessed. That's how you eat the good of the land. If you be willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. But if you refuse to rebel, you shall be the you shall be devoured with the sword, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. Now, God already said, come let us reason together. He don't care how deep your sin is. Your sin can be just like, like, like crimson. How do you can be just like a glory to God? How do scarlet or crimson? But he said it'll become white as snow. Why it become just as wood? But you got to recognize that you are sin, sinning against God, and you want you need to be washed. Put away all those assemblies. Put away all those of blame of obligations and sacrifices. God said, away with that. We got to wash and be clean. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But he said, that's why he said, let us reason together. We got to come together and reason together. Though your sins be red as scarlet, they shall be made white as snow. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. They let, though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. But if you refuse, if you be willing and disobedient, you shall eat the good of the land. If you be, listen, if you be willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. But you got to come to obedience. Willing and obedient. Be willing and obedient. You got to be willing to be obedient. Most people are not willing to be obedient. You know that we don't discern the Lord's body properly. That was the Bible says some are weak and some are sickly. And some do sleep. Because why? They don't discern the Lord's body properly. They want to serve God how they want to serve God. They want to figure, discern or figure out how they want to do it. The rulers and the people. But God said, I'm tired of all this. What is the purpose of your sacrifice? The multitude of your sacrifices. What is, what, why are you praying to me and all the multitude of your prayers? Hallelujah. All your assemblies. God said, your new moon, your Sabbath. Every moon you get up, everything you want to bring before God. During the new moon, during the Sabbath. Amen. Glory to God. And he hated this trouble. He hated it. They are a trouble unto me. I am weary to bear them. It's time, people, to be cleansed. Learn to do, learn to do well and seek justice. What well, is just. Amen. Relieve the oppressed. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Judge the followers. Plead for the widows. It's time, people. 
to put away our evil of our doing and cease to do evil from the eyes of the Lord. Put away your evil you're doing. God see everything. After you have done these things, now it's time to reason with God and come to him. But if you refuse to rebel, you shall be devoured with the sword. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. That's where it comes in. Some are weak, some are sickly, and some do sleep. Well, you see a lot of Christians dying because they don't want to reason with God. They don't want to come together. God don't care how deep your sin is. Glory to God, you don't want to be, you don't want to be willing, obedient, the good of the land. God said, so if you refuse and re rebel, glory be to God, you will be devoured with the sword. And the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. It's time to wake up God's people. The Lord has spoken his word. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So let us pray. Oh, Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word. Lord God, I give you praise and I give you all the glory. And Lord God, let the people realize, Lord, it's time to hear the word of the, of the Lord, though they act like Sodom, though, they, though the people act like Gomorrah. Lord God, hallelujah, that you are tired, Lord, of all the sacrifices that they bring to the you. But you want us to be washed and clean. Hallelujah. And then you want us to come to reason together with you, though our sins be read as scarlet. Lord God, you said we just need to be willing, obedient, eat the good of the land. But if we refuse, we will be devoured by the sword. The Lord has spoken it. So, Lord God, right now, touch in a special way. And regardless if they watch this video or hear it, let it go out in the spiritual realm and begin to move upon the hearts of thy people. In Jesus' name I pray. Glory be to God. Amen and amen. May God bless you. Here's my prayers. Amen with love.